for most of young students, at the first time they are doing a research project, some of them are super ambitious. They are expecting, they are excited to solve a question that no one solved ever. But even before you probe, you have to explain to them in the most simplest terms that uh, it's great to be ambitious, but it's even better to be simple and be, be able to accomplish your goal. Ambition is great. And you say to them, well, what do you hope to accomplish? What is it that you want to prove? What is it that you want to do? And very often, let's talk for a second about my second paper, which was old age. So I would say to them, well, what does it mean to be retired in China? How old do you have to be? And what benefits, sort of equivalent to Social Security in the United States, what benefits does one derive? And how many people are retired in China? And, and so on and so forth. Not to get the data, but to get the questions where the student might need to find the data. And how many people, you know, and what the demographics are, and so on and so forth. This way the student gets an idea for the extent to which the project he or she is thinking about can actually be done. And then you say to them, well, where are you going to get your information? You, you need to research whether or not someone has had this idea that you have before you had it. And so you need to find out what was written uh, in, in this uh, subject before and see if you have anything new to say. And that really narrows the field a great deal. It's a little intimidating to ask students to read research papers. So you go through some scholarly papers with them and show them how to navigate through a scholarly paper. These uh, scholarly papers can be quite uh, dense written by professors who've had a great many years of preparation and learning how to do research in their graduate programs and, and subsequently having done research. So that really is like a splash of cold water in their faces so that uh, they learn what research is, how to go about it, um, and to recognize that we all have our own little place in this vast universe of, of the research community.